Mr. Woods and Waters, thank you for a $10 donation. I'm new to FPV. I just got a Mobula 6 ELRS and I have a Radio Master Pocket with an ELRS module. Will I be able to set it up with my phone using the SpeedyB app? I don't have a computer. Um, maybe. Maybe. You can bind without using your phone at all. You put the Mobula 6 into bind mode, you put the radio into binding mode, they bind. Both of those, <sighs> Blunty, I don't even know if you know the answer. What do you think the chances are that the Mob 6 ships with Express LRS 3.x on it today? I have 50-50, I, have I would say. Because they, uh, they have a happy model version of 4.3 with... Uh, yeah, but with three v v three build in, but I don't know if they, they send it with that or not. Exactly, like I would, I would say it's better than fifty fifty odds that they never actually switched to shipping with four dot three on it. That they're still shipping with the old version with Express LRS two dot x, and they're leaving it up to the customer to upgrade, even though it's been a year since that situation should have resolved itself. So I'm sorry to say uh, you may not be able to bind. The SpeedyB app is capable of flashing an Express LRS. Oh, no. But you need to flash the flight controller. Not. The okay. Now. So try to bind them. Do the little three plug thing. One, two, three plugs to put the. Uh, wait. F, the three-plug thing doesn't work with an SPI-based receiver. Damn, I keep trying to tell you the answer can, is good, but it's not. Can you Go flash ahead. from the Betaflight Android app? No. Not unless you have the SpeedyB Wi-Fi adapter. It can flash. The SpeedyB Wi-Fi adapter, like the V2 or whatever, the yellow one that has Wi-Fi, can flash. Uh, I think this is oh. this is not a great situation for you not having a computer. Yeah. So just to be clear, if, if the thing you'll want to try in case it came with the right version mm -hmm. is attempting mm -hmm. to go with Betaflight on Android, go into the Mob Six ELRS and set mm -hmm. up the SPI. Uh, well, it should should already be set phrase, up, right? But it needs a binding oh. phrase. Does the SpeedyB app let you put a binding phrase in? Could he just do, could he just hit bind button in the SpeedyB app? <laughs> I'm not sure what it supports, but either that or the Betaflight Android app should support okay. you to be able to do that. So, in the SpeedyB app, go to the Receiver tab. If you're very lucky, there will be a Bind button there. Hit the Bind button. In your Radio Master Pocket, go to the Express LRS Lewis script. Activate Binding. If they bind, yay, good for you. Uh, you should know that Radio Master ships their radios set to the F1000 data rate, uh, packet rate, which in my opinion is the, I, they, stupid because SPI receivers don't support 1000 hertz. So you will also need to change the packet rate down. I would suggest changing it down to 50 hertz. If you're able to get it to bind, then there's a chance that you could do the rest of the work. But if it has shipped with Express LRS 2.x on it, which I think there's a fair chance it has, then you're out of luck and you can't you can't update it very easily without a computer. Um, Giordil, you can flash via the SpeedyB app only if you have the Wi-Fi based adapter. Your phone can't flash uh, a Betaflight just by plugging USB into the phone. Uh, Blunty, am I wrong about that? To can like, is there an Android app that can just flash your flight controller with a USB cable? And no special adapter? I, I I don't know. That's why I asked you earlier. I have no idea. So I know the Speedy B. That's one of the things. I know the Speedy B adapter can do it. I'm talking about this one. I made a video where I demonstrated this. This one can can do it. It has a Wi-Fi interface and it will be able to do the emulation of a serial port necessary to flash it. Um the earlier generation of SpeedyB app, I don't think it can. And I don't think you yeah, can flash just by with a USB plug. 
Yeah, we know the adapter can do it. That's we've mentioned that a few times over the past mm -hmm. five ten minutes here. But yeah, yeah we're we're trying to confirm that you can't do it unless you have the adapter, which seems to be the case. Okay. It might be beneficial for you to. Like, I understand that saying, well, why don't you just go buy a computer? Like, okay, but here's the thing. You bought a drone. The drone wasn't, the drone was 200 bucks, 250 bucks, 300 bucks. You bought a charger. The charger was 50 bucks. You bought a battery. The char battery is 20 bucks. Oh, if you're going to be in this hobby, you will invest a few thousand dollars over the next few years. Maybe like 200 or $250 of that should be a cheap, shitty laptop or maybe even a half-decent used laptop. It doesn't need to be a high-performance gaming laptop to be able to run Betaflight and Flash Express LRS, but having a Windows laptop will make your life so much easier in so many ways. And given what you're going to spend on everything else in this hobby, no matter how sort of tight your money is, Instead of <clears throat> buying the next drone you buy, maybe you should buy a budget laptop. So, like, I, I stay away from, like, Jordi says you can get a $100 Windows PC that'll get the job done. Be careful. I've seen, I've shopped for cheap Windows PCs before, like for my kid or something. They sell Windows PCs for 100 bucks, and they have like 8 gig of RAM and 256 gig of hardware space. And literally, it's just not enough resources to even run Windows. Like it's almost unethical for them to sell them. So be careful. Make sure you get something that like will run and isn't like just the absolute bare, bare bargain basement. But you should consider getting a computer. A Windows computer specifically, because some of the programs you'll want don't run on Mac. Sorry. <laughs>